Good evening and welcome to CNC3's coverage of the Ministry of Finance post-budget forum. It has become a calendar event after the budget every year where the Minister of Finance sits down and answers questions from members of the business community, labor and other sectors. We are coming to you live from the Eric Williams Finance Building on Independence Square. A budget of $49 billion, the biggest chunk of $8.3 billion going to education pegged on an oil price of 65 US dollars and a gas price of $2.75 US, US dollars and 75 cents per mm BTU. The budget facing the issues, turning the economy around, partnering with all one people. Now we've heard about possible tax amnesties, we've heard about new taxes uh, not coming in this budget whatsoever and axing the property tax. A lot about taxation, but there are so many other things that were in this budget, so many other allocations that had been made that we are going to find out a lot more about tonight. A growth expected of 2% for the year 2011. The finance minister making it very, very clear that because of the financial situation that the government has inherited, the government is going ahead with a lot of projects, but in a very conservative way. The prime minister is saying that it is a platform for growth and that following this budget, the government hopes that it would be in a position to do quite a lot more. And we're going to find out what are those plans tonight. We are going to toss now to Francesca Hawkins, my colleague and friend, who's standing by to take us from here. Francesca. Thank you very much, Samson. Good evening to everybody in our live audience today. For the benefit of our viewers across Trinidad and Tobago on CNC3, the objective of tonight's post-budget forum is to engage you, members of the public, through text messages and phone calls. And here in our audience, we have representatives from the many stakeholder groups that consulted with the Minister of Finance and his team of economists here at the Ministry of Finance during the months leading up to the budget. We have a full house here this evening, and we have representatives, as Samson told you earlier, from NGOs, from business, from law, youth groups, persons interested in agriculture, land development, the full gamut of civil society here in Trinidad and Tobago, and of course, business interests. This evening, hosting the program, of course, is the Honorable Winston Dukaran, the Minister of Finance. Also joining us will be the Honorable Minister of Food Production, Land and Marine Affairs, Vassan Barat. And joining both gentlemen, both ministers, will be Dr. Morgan Job, himself a former minister in the Ministry of Finance and a former minister for Tobago Affairs. So his knowledge of both Tobago and finance is extensive. The objective of tonight's program is to allow the citizenry of Trinidad and Tobago to have a better understanding of the budget 2011 and most importantly to pose questions directly to the Minister of Finance. So Dr. Job, good evening and let's take it straight over to the Honorable Winston Dukran, the Minister of Finance with his opening statements. Minister.